So we've come up with a range of uh, tips here that we see time and time again uh, operating if, uh, for example, and this is one that we use quite a bit in, in, a, in a drought situation, uh, a very, very tough winter, uh, and even occasionally where we come across where there's just been a bit of paralysis of management and, and everybody is not too sure where to go from. So one of the, um, one of the key ones there is, um, is, is build a priority list for the stock on, the, on, a, on a whiteboard. I always suggest a whiteboard, but don't be afraid about using a bit of paper. And it means writing it down. So you can actually write it down. So uh, my use going to the RAM, then the, my number one um, stock, I need to make sure that they're fed for the magic 20 days. Uh, the second one down is my um, yearling heifers, which I've got in calf, and so on and so on. Don't be afraid if you get to a point where you go, actually, I'm not too sure whether or not my trade lambs or my replacement ewe lambs uh, are, are, are priority or where they are. Just write them down next to each other, but just keep on moving down through your classes of stock and return back to them. Return back to them and then you might get a clearer idea. Um, and once you've written down that priority list for your stock, it really opens your eyes to actually what needs to be fed, what is nice to have and what is you need to have. Um, one other thing is that's why you write it down on a whiteboard with a bit of paper is let others see it. So uh, we're not expecting, no one ever expects that a farmer will know all the answers to everything. So let, uh, let others see it like, um, for example, your vet or uh, your, um, your trusted uh, bank manager stroke stock agent. Uh, the guy next door, the, uh, the girl next door, that never gets anything wrong. Um, let them see it and let them have some input. Remember, you own it, but they might be able to see it uh, and be able to uh, just say, oh, hey, look, you know, looking across, I reckon those yielding heifers are okay. I think you could drop them down a bit. Just gives you a different view and a perspective on it. And certainly this really reinforces that when you come to a point of uncertainty, like you say, well, actually, what is more important? Is it my yielding heifers or is it my ewes that are going? Ask around. Um, pick up the phone, ring a friendly farm consultant. They don't, they shouldn't charge you for farm, uh, for phone calls. Ring people like Mark Harris or uh, a vet, or just that that uh, that guy that you've got a lot of time for further up the valley, who never, uh, never, never puts a, um, never seems to be in an angry mood or anything like that. Ring them and say, what do you reckon? And they, and they're willing to help. Everybody's willing to help. Now, once you've once you've come to a decision. I really can't emphasize this enough. Write the decision down. In this case, sell, stand, sell lamb store if not able to get away next week. So the works have said, sorry, uh, because of COVID, we can't kill your lambs until next week. And you and you and you and and you're feeling you go, yeah, I can handle hang on to them for another week. Uh, and then they ring the following week and they say the situation has got no better. I, we can't kill them until two weeks' time. Just go back to that bit of paper. Say, so, oh, I've already made the decision. Sell, stand, sell lamb store if not able to get away with next week. So put them, put them on the market and sell them <clears throat> because nobody will ever regret an early decision. Uh, trust me on that one. Another key tip too, and this is for mental resilience, don't look back. Don't look in the rear vision mirror. Keep looking forward because there's more uh, issues or challenges to face um, coming at you than there are issues to solve that you've already done something about it. So don't look back, be trust your decision and move on. One of the things I really, uh, really can't emphasize enough is <clears throat> um, take time to celebrate and reflect on the great decisions you've made. Yes, you've sold those store lambs. Guess what? You've protected the animal welfare of those animals. They've gone to a, gone to a home where they can be well fed. Um, but it's also lowered the demand on your farm. A win-win for everybody. So that's a great decision. Just make sure that you uh, have an opportunity to celebrate with a uh, with a Jimmy's pie or something like that if you're in the deep south and uh, um, and just uh, say, yeah, actually, that was a good decision I made. So that'll help you make the next ones. One of the things, you know, an action in one part of the business will cause a consequence in another. 
So don't be afraid to update regularly uh, with the budget, the both feed and the cash, and keep others informed. Uh, a fantastic phone call is saying to, is ringing your bank manager and saying, well, you know, those 500 lambs uh, that I wasn't going to sell until May, uh, I've actually decided to quit them now. Uh, yes, there'll be $20, $30 a head less in them, but the money will be back in. And so the overdraft will come down instead of at the end of May, it'll come down the end of April. Um, and uh, there'll be a smile on their face and uh, just keep everybody updated and informed as you, um, as you progress through your plan. First of all, um, some of the real take home messages uh, you are not in this alone. Uh, there are people all the way through the industry. Uh, how do you reckon the logistics manager at AFCO or Silver Fern Farms is feeling right now, not knowing whether or not they can get refrigerated containers and whether or not the ship's going to, to turn up? Um, you know, this is, you're not in this alone, and this is affecting everyone, and it's not your making. Um, it's not something that you can control. So don't beat yourself up about that at all. Um, you know, take, uh, take solace in the, in the fact that you're a master of your own destiny. Uh, a key one here too is um, in times of very much uncertainty, such as the drought or such as what's happened on the East Coast there, no one's regretted making a decision too early in a drought or, or in a disaster like that. Um, it's the same here. Make the early decision because trust yourself, it will generally be the best decision for you and your business. Uh, another thing is just, just be very aware. One big action won't fix it. It will require a lot of little action. So yes, sell those, sell those store lambs, but you might have to tighten up your breeding cows in the, in the back hills. You might have to look at bringing in those rising two-year-old steers and get them weighed so you've got that information at hand if they're the next cab off the rank, et cetera. So one big action won't fix it. It requires a lot of little actions. Uh, and also in times of adversity, the farming community comes together. Um, don't be afraid, reach out. It might actually help someone else. You're all facing the same thing. If, if that truck's not coming to pick up your lambs, they're not coming to pick up your next door neighbours as well. Uh, just picking up the phone and going, did you get your lambs away? And if they go, well, not really. Yeah, same here. You know, it's a bit of a bugger, but I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. What do you think? And it just might actually have, uh, help somebody. Um, just uh, address what they will be facing as well. So the last point is um, just recognise that, uh, that the stress that everyone is under. So it's not just you, it's your livestock buyer, it's the processor, um, it's, the, it's the bank manager who's not seeing the cash flows that he would expect to see or whatever the case might be. Um, just recognise that everybody's under stress here, but most importantly, look after yourself and those who you care for. Um, because though at the end of the day, it is uh, your family and you that will actually be the resilience that will get your business to the, uh, to the next part of this uh, journey we call farming.